Launched in 2003, the Multistrada was a step change for the Italian bike manufacturer Ducati in that it launched the brand into what we now know as the travel enduro or in adventure segment of the motorcycle industry. Penned by legendary designer Pierre Terblanche, the bike took the firm's air-cooled 992cc L-twin engine, slotted it into a comfortable, tall adventure bike frame added in some sporty handling dynamics and sent it out to do battle with the likes of the TDM 850 and the BMW GS. Its slightly oddball styling made it instantly recognisable on the road and cemented the brand as one to watch in the adventure touring category. It wasn't until 2010 though when the Multistrada 1200S was re released that the bike and the range really got into its stride. It incorporated superbike levels of handling ability, electronics, revised styling, electronic suspension, and most of those were a first in the adventure bike class at that time. It was always revered as a machine that handled like one of Ducati's factory superbikes. It had all the comfort of a touring machine, and that made the 1200S an instant hit, and it was a de facto challenger for the other touring and adventure bikes of the class at the time. From there, the Multistrada swelled in capacity and also technology with the introduction of the 1260 and the 1260S in 2018. Its booming 155 bhp engine was perfectly mated to some of the best electronic suspension in the touring category and brakes that could outstop a proper full-on sports bike. It's a bike that left a lasting impression on me and that was after I took about a 3,000 mile round trip to World Ducati Week in Rimini on one, riding it from Coventry in the United Kingdom all the way down to the event and back again. And it really was the perfect companion for a trip over the Alps and all of those long motorway miles. Fast forward to today and the Multistrada has again pushed the envelope of what the adventure touring category can be. The introduction of the V4 and the V4S models have again stepped the game up for adventure bikes. They're powered by a unique V4 engine with the character of a V-twin low down, a dependable low end delivery and plenty of torque. At the top end they produce otherworldly levels of power but that doesn't stop them being accessible. I test rode the V4S Multistrada a little while back and the riding modes can dull down the riding experience so much that it does feel like anyone could jump on one and ride it. The new Multistrada V4S also brought with it a first in the motorcycle category in the form of radar assisted cruise control. This system will allow you to fix the bike on a set point further up the road than yourselves and it will maintain a gap to the vehicle that's traveling in front of you. Likewise, you've got warning lights on the wing mirrors to advise you if the, there is a vehicle sneaking up the outside or the inside of you. It's a real game changer on this bike, especially that wing mirror warning light system and one that I would really, really like to see incorporated on other models in the future. And the V4 range isn't just the V4 and the V4S Multistrada. There is also the range topping and completely bonkers Pikes Peak edition as well. And that is for those who want the absolute pinnacle of Multistrada performance. The focus of that bike is firmly on on-road performance and on-road handling. And to do that, it's got special lightweight Marzacchini wheels, which are 17 inches to make it handle even faster. It's got a bespoke set of algorithms within the ECU, including a race mode, which ups the rev limit even further for more top end performance. Unlike the V4 and the V4S, it also gets a single sided swing arm. And the geometry of the bike has also been revised to completely transform the riding experience when compared to a normal Multistrada. Extensive use of carbon fibre and of course those lightweight wheels has also really, really slashed the weight of the bike. So the Multistrada Pikes Peak is a much lighter, more responsive and more high performing motorcycle than the stock one. And this is already one of the most high performing and best handling adventure bikes in the class. 
And let's not forget that the Multistrada V4 range doesn't just incorporate V4 models anymore. Ducati have just released a little bit earlier on this month the new updated V2 Multistrada for 2022. It features most of the tech of its bigger sibling in a much more accessible and entry-level package. It's even available as an A2 bike if you fit the A2 restrictor kit to it, meaning that even more people can get on a Multistrada and enjoy everything that this bike has got to offer. Ducati have also been mindful of shorter riders, which personally I think is really, really good. So the new Multistrada V2 has a slightly lower seat height and it is more accommodating for those who are shorter in the leg. For those taller riders out there, there is also a taller seat option so that you can sit comfortably with a nice seat to peg distance. The Multistrada range is one of the most all-encompassing ranges in the motorcycle industry in this category. You've got out-and-out -out ultimate performance, you've got on-road touring ability, you've got on-road sort of handling dynamics and ability. You've got off-road if you spec the V4S with the spoked wheels and the knobbly tyres and all the other off-road appendages that go with it. And then you've even got the A2 section as well for those that are on a restricted motorcycle license. I don't think there's another bike in the, or another model range in the adventure bike field that is that accessible to so many different types of rider. And it's not just the bikes that makes it special. Each bike in the range comes with a, a four year unlimited mileage warranty. You also get roadside assistance should you need to call upon it. There are 9,000 mile minor service intervals and 36,000 mile Desmo service or the big service intervals. That brings with it a level of peace of mind that you simply don't get from some of the manufacturers on the market. Add to that personalized PCP and finance packages. It really does mean there are more reasons than ever that you could put one of these bikes in your garage and enjoy that Multistrada life. Like I said a little bit earlier on in the video, a trip down to Rimini to World Ducati Week in 2018 really lit the Multistrada fire inside me and I absolutely fell in love with that 1260 to the point where I didn't want to give it back to Ducati after the press loan was up. This though, the V4S, it has really stepped up the game and I didn't really think that was possible, but it, it actually has. It's got more tech, it's got more rideability and it's got more accessibility than any other Multistrada that I've ever come across. It really is a properly nice bit of kit. And you can have a look at this bike and all the other bikes in the Ducati range on the Ducati website. Or if you go into any of the motorcycle shows this winter, including Motorcycle Live, you'll be able to check these bikes out in the flesh at the show. And I will see you all there, folks. Thank you. <laughs>